so that's the main solo to uh, The Thrill Is Gone. I'll put the sheet on there while I'm playing it so you can see um, me playing along with it. Um, it's a really, really hard solo to get right. 75% uh, seven, of the information is not actually on the sheet. And by that I mean little inflections of how he's striking the string, um, timing issues like if he's rushing ahead or he's dragging a little bit, obviously on purpose, uh, how he's bending the string, sometimes how he's bending the string and striking the string, whereabouts on the string he's striking is really, really difficult, but um, hopefully that helps. It's, it's a solo that I show quite often, just for anybody that's interested in blues guitar, it just, it's just it's a really good place to start and you can be on this for months. Um, I only went up to the bar 103. That seems to be the main bulk of the solo. The remaining bars are him just riffing on the third, the minor third and the, um, the root primarily. Um, if you want me to do the whole lot, I can do the whole lot. Um, uh, I've pretty much played that all um, as straight as I can uh, with dynamics, meaning on the record when you listen back yourself you'll hear that sometimes he volume wise he dips underneath the band and then he comes up on top. Um, I've tried to keep it um, dynamic wise on top all the time so you can hear um, a little bit more, more clearly. but. Don't listen to me. Go and listen to the record. I've got. Uh, I found on YouTube a really good, um, a really good version where the guitar's isolated and it makes it even more clear what he's what he's doing. So yeah, go and check that out. I'll put that in the the description. Um, yeah, that's it. I have fun with it. Um, you can be on it for a, a long, long time. So yeah, just have fun with it and see how you get on. Okay then. All right. Bye bye.